All right, so Crip Mac was not invited to Adam 16's 40th birthday party that he threw for himself. And I thought that this was insanely disrespectful to Crip Mac. I mean, Crip Mac has been Adam's closest, most loyal friend through it all, through thick and thin, unconditional loyalty to Adam that Crip Mac has had. And if Crip Mac gets done like this, that's like really kind of, I mean, how do you respect someone like that? How do you respect someone like the 16? That's fucking... You got me there, but I thought I'd look into it, and I found some stuff during my investigation that I wanted to bring up. And so that takes us to our first clip. This is going to be Crip Mac calling out the 16 for not inviting him to his birthday party. Watch this. Fifth of all, I'm getting sick of you motherfuckers canceling me out of all this great shit, yeah? I am the top Crip in the motherfucking world. The infant look, 55th Street General Crip Mac. Adam, how the fuck you didn't have me at your party last night, cuh? The blue face was there. So the fuck what, nigga? I was gonna come and also do my motherfucking thing. Can't nobody take my fame from me. And another thing, cuz, Adam. I used to call you Adam Mac, hood. You was hood, cuz. I'm gonna call you Rainbow 22 now, motherfucker. You was doing some real strange shit, cuz. Come on, five inches on. But keep that custard shit off the internet. We really gonna get a vicious fag going on, cuz. And we ain't gonna wait by that baby snap Sally, nigga. We could do it at the job. Or we could do it on the side of the road. Wherever you wanna get cracked in that hood, we can make that shit happen on Hustlers. It's early this morning. I just wanted to let you know. Alright, so Crip Mac puts this video out. He's obviously going through some things. His feelings are hurt. He feels left out. But my problem with this is that him and Adam have had this fake fighting narrative skit bullshit. We're not going to go back in fifth, cuz. You fight me, me and you, we're going to get out again, cuz. We're going to handle it like men, and after that, let the shit end. You're going to remember this, though, cuz. I'm crazy, mad-ass crap. You're not going to fuck with my name. You're not going to play with my name. And making little videos uh, fake attacking each other. So I don't know if this is real or fake. I'm to the point where I don't know what's staged and what's real in the No Jumper world. But the narrative was supported by No Jumper employee Poetic Flacco. Uh, he brought it up on the No Jumper News. Uh, the whole situation with Crip Mac not being invited. And he started going to bat for Crip Mac and started like cringily trying to like uh, stick up for him. And I thought this was insane because of the whole... You know what? I'm not going to spoil it. I want to show you the clip, and then I'm going to explain why Poetic Flack goes up to something and why it's very funny. So watch this. He's right, though. Like, he's 100% right. What, is, thought, he, what like, is he right about? Uh, Being the... the best no, 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 no. no. I've I, I seen, like, at least, like, 20 different ops, like, all in the same building. You feel me? Right? And there, you know, no and there issues. was no fights. No issues at the party. Yeah. What Flacco's trying to say is there were many people at the party that supposedly don't get along but were able to coexist without having a confrontation or any type of scene being made. And so he's saying, why should Crip Mac be not uh, invited to the party if others were invited to the party that had similar situations that Crip Mac did, but they were able to go? There was a, uh, bro, there was a lot of different ops. Okay. okay. You feel me there, right? <laughs> Crip Mac I don't know. and Blueface <laughs> are different. And, and why I choose Blueface and over Crip Mac? Mm. All right, so Flacco's uh, really sticking up for Crip Mac. He wants answers. He's calling out Adam and, uh, you know, all the people at the party and stuff for not inviting Crip Mac. And I thought that this was really devious because what Flacco's really doing is he's trying to, like, almost, like, dog whistle that... Uh, it's hard to explain. He is trying to get Crip Mac to like him because we all know that Crip Mac doesn't like him for various reasons. I'd like to show you a clip. Flacco's a weirdo. Uh, six. <laughs> That's strange. He says the gayest shit in the world. He's strange. He's weird. He's I, like, he's I, off I, the, the he's fucking wall. That's strange. It's I just, I just watch do the shit. He does type shit too. Uh. They just make all the gang things just want to fire on them. Yeah, like, like fuck them up, what? You weird ass nigga. Like, what but your don't live by our culture, though, cuz. Like Six so cuz. Shower. Speaking oh, of shower about is everybody's fucking culture. All right. Get yeah. in the shower, Flacco. He's or I'm going to catch a fade with you, motherfucker. Flacco be stinking? Cuz smells and he don't cut his hair. Oh, shit. Cuz. I, I, I ain't know right, that. All right, so Crip Mac does not like Flacco. He says that he smells like shit and, uh, you know, he stinks. He says, go get in the shower or we're going to catch a fade. Uh, you know, he says he's a weirdo. Uh, 
Kripmack does not like Flacco, and rightfully so. And so what I think is going on here is that Flacco is trying to manipulate Kripmack into liking him for, you know, sticking up for him right now. So he wants him to like him because, let's face it, that's bad PR to have Kripmack. You know, Kripmack's really popular. It's a real bad look uh, for someone like Flacco to have Kripmack saying that you need to go take a shower and that you, quote, say gay-ass shit. So uh, Flacco's trying to win uh, C-Mac's heart. And also, he wants to virtue signal to the No Jumper audience and be like, hey, look, I'm a tender-hearted guy. I'm looking out for my true friends. But I think that this is just a, a conniving, manipulative act. I don't think that this is uh, genuine at all. And I think it's just another example of uh, Flacco's deceptiveness. You see, Flacco lies literally about everything. I mean, he is the most fraudulent person I think I've ever seen. He is an absolute, his whole identity is a sham. His whole background, he is a full-blown weirdo like one of those creepy people that you hear about. And so Flacco is a liar and a fraud. So this is this to me looks like a staged, hey, like I want to be Crip Max friend, so I'm going to stick up for him. But don't believe that, okay? I don't think that's true. So in this next clip, Josh is going to explain to these guys why Crip Mac was disinvited from Adam 16's birthday party. Watch this. Blueface was the only person there who was performing. Ah, he was the headliner. Yes. He was the only liner. So, <laughs> so if Blueface has one recommendation amongst all these other ops, like you claim that they were there, and all these other people who, you know, it's not crazy for us to oblige his request. Also, also yeah. was per Blueface's yeah, yeah. request uh -huh. that Crip Mac not be present. I mean, per his uh, team representation. Blue, I mean, Crip Mac also calls him Custer Face. Yeah, man. But yeah, man. Hey, listen though. But you know, if I was y'all. I would have said, "Hey, bro, sorry, then for me, you know, you know, like we will find another performer." What? Yeah. You feel oh, y'all want to turn down <laughs> Blueface performance? I don't know. Yeah. Like Wait, Blueface is like a what? staple of No yeah. Jumper, so Why I feel like he yeah. can't yeah. perform. Like, yeah, I don't know. So this is really disgusting. What Flacco's doing? He's trying to appeal to like the good-hearted people that watch this crap. And he's trying to make it look like he's like concerned. About, I mean, Flacco would never do anything for anyone. Flacco is all about gatekeeping and clout and stuff. And to me, for him to suggest that Adam 16 cancel Blueface and put someone else up, who else is going to go up there? 03 Greedo? No one's going to uh, perform for Adam 16. The only reason Blueface was even available to Adam is because WAC 100 is controlled by Adam and Blueface is uh, WAC 100's bitch. He does everything WAC says. Do you understand? And I do want to give a shout out to Josh for putting Blueface's business out there for the fans. So now we all know that Blueface's only request was that they keep Crip Mac away from him when he was performing. He was worried about Crip Mac. Isn't that something? Isn't that wild that Blueface's only request, according to Josh, was that Crip Mac not be allowed at the party. So shout out to Josh for helping us understand. Um, and not a lot of people would put someone's business out there like that. And so I do really appreciate that. I want to give a shout out to Sassy Josh, okay? So uh, let's let this clip continue. Hey, is yeah, Crip Mac going to perform instead? Yeah. 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 Oh, he's our friend. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Bro was on no jumper 24 7. I, I, I know who's your friend. Like, just, I, I know. Just... Okay. So now that we understand that Flacco is trying to look out for Crip Mac on camera in order to get Crip Mac to like him and accept him, now we're going to be taking a look at a little bit of Flacco deception uh, with regards to his height. So we all know that Flacco's obsessed with people's height. And this is a complex that people get, especially people that uh, are extremely short, like Flacco. I've never met anyone in my entire life who's as obsessed with people's heights yeah, than you. It's like you. the third time. Because you tell everyone, you, I thought you were going to be smaller, or you looked smaller, or I thought you were going to be taller, yeah. but you're actually not as tall, or yeah. I thought you were going to be fat, but you're not that fat. Like yeah. I assumed <laughs> that he was like six, you know, like six foot plus. I thought no. he was tall. I, I honestly thought he was tall. No, definitely not six foot plus. Yeah. Somehow this is like a thing that your brain has just adapted to yeah. like saying to almost everyone that you meet. So and Flacco is like psychotically obsessed with people's height. And so what he's done is he's changed his height 
and you heard that correctly, he's ch- he's heightening himself in order to uh, look taller and be able to say that he's a certain height. So if you guys remember, Flacco used to go around telling people that he was 5'7". He was very proud to be 5'7". He went around telling people this, and no one believed him because he looks like more like he's 5'2", 5'3". And so he used to fight people uh, to be called 5'7", and now he's changed it, and now he's telling people that he's 5'9". So let's watch this Real clip. Short. He's like, that's oh, they Tom Hanks, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five nine and a half. Yeah. He, well, no, I'm five nine. So, uh, yeah. oh no, my good. god, oh, it's Flacco. Yeah. Stop it. We've already marked wait, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If he's wait, marked, oh, you haven't marked on the door. Yeah, that's that's hilarious. hilarious. Question though. Wait. <laughs> Crystal, try, stand up, try. I'm definitely <laughs> taller than you. No, 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 no. You are taller, right? Yeah. But like, if he's five ten. What you are about to see is Flacco measuring himself up against this guy who claims to be five foot ten inches tall. And what you are about to see is fucking nuts. Watch this. <laughs> Five ten, how do you fuck my five six? No, you're not five six. No, you're not five six. Yeah, I'm. Hey, listen, you owe me. You feel me? If he's five ten, I can't be five six. No, baby. Y'all know how you get about it. It's okay, short king. So again, I'm not sure if this is true delusion or if this is another con that uh, Flacco's putting on, but he's telling people he's five nine when he has been scientifically proven to be five foot five inches tall. It's been pre. I mean, they've me- they measured him with literal tools to measure, and he is five six at the most. Now he's five nine. He swears by it. So is he lying, or does he believe that putting things in his shoes will make him taller? Now I want you guys to look at this. So do you see that Flacco's waistline is actually taller than this other guy's waistline, but his shoulders are like way shorter. So this is indicative of uh, wedging your heels and putting things in the heels of your shoe to make you appear taller. Now, Flacco is going around telling people, he, I mean, this is a sickness, okay? Look at these shoes. Look at these boosts. This is insane. He Is this allowed? Are, are people allowed to do this and not get fucking completely destroyed for it? I don't know. I felt like it was worth mentioning. Now, why Josh didn't completely call him out and make him empty his shoes, I don't know. But Josh measured him. There's a person in this room that has measured him at five foot six inches tall at the most. Yo, you raw dog in them shits? He got to. Yo, bought some socks. Bro, not wearing shoes is nuts. That's mad nasty, son. Josh, that's wrong, though. So Flacco kicked his shoes off and wasn't wearing socks. Keep in mind, Flacco stinks. Flacco's very, very smelly. He emits odor from his armpits. His armpits are always funky, very sweaty. He probably never, ever showers, ever. And so uh, that's really disgusting that he's allowed to walk around. I would have told him to put his shoes back on. That's fucking nuts. So Flacco is disgusting, but I want to point out he is, he's been measured. So what are we doing? Why didn't Josh call him out and uh, uh, pull, the, pull the tapes? This is nuts. So uh, I want to continue with this video, but I wanted to point out that Flacco is a fucking weirdo. So Crip Mac and Adam had a podcast shortly before. It's tough to say when because they pre-record their podcasts. But they, he had a podcast with Crip Mac where they discussed Crip Mac's beef with Blueface. And I just thought that it was really weird and sort of sus that Adam didn't bring up the fact that Blueface is performing at his party. So this could be one of two things. It could be a setup to like uh, not give away the fact that they're going to do this Crip Max mad at Adam skit, or he didn't want to bring it up to Crip Mac to make Crip Mac mad and feel left out. But what we do know is that this conversation took place before Adam 16's birthday party. Let's watch the clip. So you just recently did a uh, Instagram clip in which you basically invited Krishan Rock to your dick. And in the process, you called Blueface Custer Face. <laughs> what was uh, the plan behind this? Because we all saw you run into him at this event, and you guys right. seemed like you were cool. And then I, we see this, and we're like, oh, what changed? Well, right after the little event shit, we was cool. And then uh, his, uh, his, his cousin d Don't you guys think it's kind of sad that Adam-16 uses this poor disabled crip and, like, 
laughs at him behind his back, probably with like a bunch of people that don't like him and like interviews people that make fun of him. I mean, how does, I mean, that's so fucked up. Back of the jungles. No. Yeah, nah, no, no, man. There's there's ain't got nobody over there. He fried, bro. He cooked, bro. Yeah. Not, like, bro. Not, yeah, we ain't nobody right. like that. that. That's he doing some extra. Yeah. Ain't, ain't nobody doing that no more, man. What the? Fuck? Ain't nobody doing that. Okay, he doesn't have to be exactly like him, but just somebody yeah, nah, with that level yeah, nah, of like nah. entertain. Because people always tell me, "Oh, bro, you think Crip Mag is so unique? There's a guy like him in every hood." I'm like, "Bring yeah, me the yeah. guy from your hood it's who like, is as fucking yeah, entertaining yeah, as sure, Crip Mag." Yeah, sure, it's it not somebody. that many. No, yeah, because nah, they got, is, they got nah, relate, not like relatable that shit that he do, but it's not like how he do it. Yeah, yeah. He too like. Internet with it, like you, you internet, bro. It's really out here fried, like, like, oh, like, like he said, it's somebody face. in, the, it's somebody in the hood that's really out here fried, cook, bro. Boy, just like, cook. All right, so Adam, as you can see, is a turncoat. He's a betrayer of his friends. He doesn't have any friends. Okay, his whole party was filled with people that don't give a fuck about him. They're like a bunch of uh, D-list influencery types. I mean, let's take a look at some of the footage from his party. We got some good talent in here today. This, I beat off there all the time. Yeah, dead ass. All right, so I actually want to go through this uh, birthday party footage with a fine tooth comb. So I'm not going to say too much about this right now, but I will say that this looked like shit and Adam should be embarrassed of the footage that came of this. This is like one of the shittiest, tackiest, most half done, half baked uh, parties I've ever seen. And I'd like to shit on it thoroughly. So I'm going to save that for either a live stream or its own separate video. But I just wanted to point out, Crip Mac didn't miss anything. Adam is a loser. No one even gave a fuck about Adam. I mean, at, I mean, this is insane. Adam was on stage trying to hype the crowd, and he was, uh, he had the microphone, and he was like, "Shout out, Blueface!" And he was trying to uh, jazz the crowd. Nobody gave a fuck. They were like, "Who's that?" And so Adam looked like a pathetic loser uh, trying to jazz the crowd. He bombed. No one yelled back. He was trying to get people to go. <sighs> But that's not what happened because Adam is washed. Ooh, that's good cringe. That is cringe right there. Let's see that one more time from another angle. So I want to point out that this is Adam's friend Remo's phone. It's Remo, one of the hosts at No Jumper. This is his uh, Instagram that's taking this. And Remo's not screaming when Adam is trying to get people to scream. Remo's not screaming. So to me, this is Remo's basically saying, fuck Adam. I ain't doing that shit. That shit's stupid. Fuck Adam. Adam's a bitch to me. I ain't screaming for that bitch. That's what I think Ad uh, Remo's thinking. Okay, so I hope I'm making sense. So Adam really did actually throw himself this birthday party of this nature at 40 years old. Okay, this he's not a 23-year-old girl. This is Adam 16, okay? His something's wrong with him, and uh, it's just really something to watch. I mean, would you just look at him? He is out of his mind. He's wearing an open front to his own party at 40, and he looks like shit. He's built funny. He's His body's all wonky looking. He's got the childbearing hips. He should never show his body, Okay. This is really something crazy to see. And he's walking around like this, hugging people. I mean, yeah, oh, God. And he just looks so atrociously ugly and, and just overall scary looking. He's the scary old guy. He's the scary old guy that makes people feel uncomfortable, especially women. Okay, so that's a fact. That can actually be corroborated. Uh, so... I will say that Adam is the creepy old guy that make people that makes people feel uncomfortable. I can say that. Okay, it's true. And do not get me started on Lena the plug. She looks so fucking weird and gross and foul. Look at her chest. What is going? Why do we have to look at this? I always get so infuriated when I'm forced to look at something so unsightly, something so hideous and ill-favored. And just overall displeasing to look at. Like it's this picture is so disagreeable that I get mad when I see it. I mean, look at how frightening she looks. 
let's look at some of these other people. Like, imagine hanging out with some of these people. This is really a pitiful looking show. All right, so that is going to do it for this video. I appreciate everyone who hit the like button and who subscribed to the channel. Uh, make sure you check out the Patreon too. The Patreon is up and I will be doing another stream very soon. Uh, and so I'll see you on the next one. Six so cuts. And there's a camera.